Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is your host with the most white boy, Seven Street. Welcome to a Black Ops 6 domination gameplay. Now that we have a full weekend of the beta in the books, I kind of want to give my thoughts and opinions because I think this game is similar to Modern Warfare 2 from 2009. Uh, there's some lag, and this is super frustrating. I don't see the barrel on fire. There's uh, some packet loss, and then I just blow up, but... When it's going good, it's great. When it's bad, it's awful. And like right here, I just have to shoot five extra bullets just to make sure uh, he's dead. And I've done that a few times already in this gameplay. And look, I got a few hit markers, stun them, stun misses. I get a few more hit markers. I thought they were pretty good shots. And I still die. We're getting dominated. But I love dolphin diving and it makes it all worth it. I've been a dolphin diver for my entire Call of Duty career. Arguably, I was the only one who kept the dolphin dive alive and risked my life for the Call of Duty community dolphin diving into putting... I'll dolphin dive into whatever to get rid of this packet loss like a sacrificial lamb. The Semtex was almost clean. A little too late. If I didn't lag, who knows what would have happened. If I wasn't looking at the floor on the B flag, I might have got that kill. But I think the excuse that it's a beta is kind of a invalid one because they just kind of copy and paste the net code from previous CODs and obviously there's that skill-based matchmaking issue. Some games are great and you feel like a god and then you use the same strategy and the same class setup with the same players in the lobby the next game and you go negative like right here i think it's great to do this backwards dolphin dive i was a little off with my shots it was laggy the jackal killed me in four shots uh the jackal is a little bit overpowered Treyarch is known for having overpowered SMGs. Every single Black Ops game had some crazy SMG in it, but this spot is pretty good. Now, SMGs are the meta. The maps are so small, but there are some places in the game that you can do medium to long range shots, and this is one of them. And you got to see the AK just kind of dominate right here. I do this a few times in this match. And I wish they would add some classic Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 maps. I would love to play Raid. I would love to play WMD or Grid, some snow maps from Black Ops 1. I think uh, more maps that have the long-range engagements. They probably did something with the small maps on purpose. Maybe to test out, oh, <laughs> I was mounted right there, and I was like, why can't I go left? I love the mounting. I know that's like a kind of an old feature, but I, I I really enjoy this game. I think the game's good, man. I, I really do, but obviously there's some problems behind the scenes. Like, the game itself is good, but the platform it's on with the, the skill-based matchmaking and, and the um, packet burst, obviously there's some problems. Hopefully they hash that out through uh the next few weeks before launch but i mean this spot is just cooking for me i like the score streaks i like that they benefit people for playing the objective there's some really good aspects of this game i mean the hostage thing is so epic i really like it and you're going to see me utilize it a little bit later in this gameplay i mean that that dive right there probably saved me i saw a sniper glint in the distance i feel like black ops 6 kind of contradicts itself because on one hand this movement system gives a skill gap to the good players and they're going to benefit from that. But then on the other hand, they give the bad player skill-based matchmaking, which is a propaganda term. It's not about getting placed with people who are on your same skill level. That's not the issue. That's just ranked play. What happens is they change the game for the bad players and their bullets do more damage or you have phantom bullets. You know, I kind of make a mistake here, and then I see my eyes look into my eyes. That's a weird kill cam. Uh, but yeah, I really like the game. I think it's fun. There's obviously some problems, but the diving is so fun, and it's going to make it worth it. Look at me playing the objective. Again, just racking up this score streak. I really, really like that about this game, that it's kind of like default. Side note, what if they have attack dogs, and they can dolphin dive and slide? Okay, I kind of like how when you get sniped, you get pushed back, and when you have a shotgun kill, it pushes the people back. It's kind of dramatic, and I actually really enjoy that. It kind of feels like gore is back. I've been calling for gore to come back since World at War. It's not super gory, and you don't blow people's legs off, but it's a step in the right 
direction in my opinion. Maybe it's because I'm 34 years old now and I don't have the reaction time and the energy as I did when I was a young boy playing Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops 1 for the first time. But for an hour or two, I have the energy to dolphin dive and do all the sliding. You can see it in this game. And then maybe hour two, hour three, uh, skill-based ma uh, skill matchmaking kicks in. And, uh, you know, it's uh, downhill from there. But for those first two hours, it's decent. I have fun. It's decent. I'm very much looking forward to week number two of the beta. I'm going to be live streaming it here on YouTube and on my Twitch channel. I'm going to let the live commentary take over. I'm going to start calling in my Hellstorm and get another Hellstorm. And it's got to get a little bit of uh, intense. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button. And what do you guys think about Black Ops 6? Let me know in the comments down below. Is it good? Is it bad? It's definitely not bad. It's... It's better than what we've had before. Now, I'm, I'm aiming for the heads. I'm making a little bit of a conscious uh, call to aim for the head right here. Like, right there, I just deleted that guy. It felt like skill-based matchmaking was on my... Like, that guy didn't have a chance. He died in, like, two bullets. Now I can't even shoot the damn right thing. You know, whatever. Uh, it happens to the best of us. I really wish they would have a Blackout 2 on this engine. I think that'd be crazy to have like an updated Treyarch version of Warzone that's a little bit more hardcore, not super respawn friendly. You can't buy people back a hundred times and go in the gas like Arcady. I feel like Warzone's not a true battle royale. Look at this uh, play, triple feed, almost get the quad feed, and this guy does a little drop shot maneuver and really uh, confuses me. I think there was a little packet loss right there, but whatever. But yeah, wager matches would be a great addition. I miss them so much. I don't know why they have game types like MVP or SVT, whatever the hell it's called, but not gun game and one in the chamber. I would like to see one in the chamber, a game type where everyone has a similar gun or gun game where everyone has the same, you know, level playing field, just to see how the connection truly is. Because it's kind of hard to tell when, you know, one person's using a sniper, one person's using an AK. I guess in this game, everyone's just using the Jackal, it seems like. But I'm popping off on the objective. Look at this trophy system and uh, UAV just racking me up points. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to let the live commentary take over. I hope to see you guys on my Twitch or YouTube streams. I'm going to be streaming pretty much every day of the beta. I was mounted again and I couldn't pull off to the right. But again, this spot is pretty damn good. They're just kind of spawning in the back. This reminds me of... You know, just aspects of older Call of Duties. We're going to get a quad feed with this Hellstorm. The Hellstorm is really, really fun. I hope they have more fun kill streaks like this. I don't know why both my missiles went to that guy. I got to figure out uh, what I did wrong there. Maybe uh, he was locked on and he wasn't killed yet. But anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching and enjoy the live commentary. Peace. Yep, yep. Hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear. Let me tell you something nice that you want to hear. What the fuck happened? I'm popping off! I'm going nuts! I got another hailstorm! I was popping off! Holy moly! That's gotta be play of the game. What? He doesn't even get the clean kill! Where's the play? This is the play! I got 500 on mine! I had like 600 points on mine! He has 100! Who did that? Ladies and gentlemen, it's your host with the most white boy 7th street thank you for watching this call of duty black ops 6 gameplay i believe my kills was uh 300 and i got two deaths so that was one hell of a gameplay world record setting pace uh we did really good that game probably one of my best games of black ops that hellstorm went crazy shut the fuck up i'm doing my outro god damn it now it's ruined and wait i didn't get to see the kill where was that
Well, you got to see it for a second. Anyways, I was hot micing that whole time. I got robbed for that top play. That was pretty good. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. If you're watching the stream, I'm not ending the stream. That's a highlight video, obviously. So, you know.